When we started looking at this issue in the early 1970s, there was a wide variety of methods in use. This reflects the wide circumstance in which head injured patients are cared for. And the methods varied greatly. Some used numbers, and there were different numbers, and the numbers went in different directions. Some used terms, and often these were vague and quite useless for communicating what the patient was actually like. And there was no way of getting reliable, consistent communication, which is really the basis of head injury management. Our interests uh, in head injury assessment um, developed separately. Mine began uh, in Newcastle and then followed in Birmingham Accident Hospital um, and it was based upon interest in prognosis and clinical assessment. Um, when I came to Glasgow, Brian Jeanette already had a program going um, looking at head injury outcome and we put our perspectives together to develop an approach that would be useful for both purposes, that is both assessing severity and prognosis and as a routine monitoring. And we tried a number of different methods, um, to some extent building upon what had seemed good practice in the past and try to distill out an approach that people could use um, in practical circumstances. A particularly vital part was the studies we did using the nurses. Um, and this was based upon the view that most of the observations are done by nurses and whatever was being done, they had to feel comfortable with, that it was sensible to them and that it enhanced their actual contribution to management. So for routine monitoring of patients in clinical care and communicating about them, we had a system in which the motor scale was more simple. The longer motor scale that gave the larger score was useful for specialists, the neurosurgeons, in relation to prognosis. Over time, the uh, longer approach became more popular. And I think we have to recognize that both approaches are around now. What's essential is that people make it clear which one they're using. In experienced hands, the more uh, sophisticated approach to motor assessment did have extra prognostic significance. So this is how, when we carried out prognostic studies, it was the longer scale that we added the numbers to. And that became the basis of the score that ranges from 3 to 15. In the management of the individual patient, you don't have to use the score, and the score can conceal information because the same score can be made up in quite different ways, and that loses information, and it's an important source of confusion and uh, problems in managing patients. The value of the score is as a quick overall summary of the patient, or in summarizing information about large numbers of patients as a basis of developing protocols for management, guidelines for prognosis, and so on. Mick. Come on, open your eyes. That's it. Open your eyes. How are you feeling? Um, okay. Do you know where you are? Um, Keep your eyes open. Just look at me. Do you know where you are? I'm in Leeds. You're in Leeds. Leeds. Do you know where about's in Leeds? Uh, hospital. You're in hospital. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me your full name? Mick Gray. Mick Gray. And do you know what month it is, Mick? It's um, August. 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 And what year? 2004. All right, okay. Do you have a headache? Um, yeah. A little bit. Okay then, Mick, now I just want you to take hold of my hands. Okay. Okay, I want you to try and squeeze my hands for me. Squeeze them. Okay, and can you let go? Let go, Pesh. Okay, can you do it one more time? Squeeze my hands, that's it. And let go. And let go, that's fine. Okay, I want you to keep looking at me and I'm going to shine this light into your eyes. Okay. okay. So if you still look at me, okay, you'll just see this bright light. All right, my love, just look at me. Okay, now we're looking one eye. 
flat light and then the other that's absolutely fine okay i'm going to leave you now for about 10 minutes and i'm going to come back and check you a little bit later is that okay yeah all yeah. right okay thank you so we were eye opening to speech which gives a score of three uh, mick was orientated to place time in person which gives a score of five and he obeyed commands, which gives a score of 6. That gives a total GCS score of 14 out of 15. And his pupils, both pupils, were equal and reacting to light briskly and were approximately a size 3. So a size 3 with a positive reaction, size 3 and reacting to light. Hi, Dr. Till. Hi, Hi, how? I just had a patient admitted um, about half an hour ago with a head injury, a patient called Mick Gray. Okay. I've just done some observations on him. Um, he's eye open to speech, he's orientated to place time and purse, and he's obeying commands. So he's gone GCS 14 out of 15. What would you like me to do with him now? Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. If you put him into the observation ward, right. then we'll see him later. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. 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 Hi, Mick. Mick, it's me again. Just come to check over you. Mick? Hi. Mick, can you open your eyes for me? Mick, can you open your eyes? Mick, come on, open those eyes for me. Mm. Mick, can you open your eyes? No. Come on, open your eyes, Mick. Mm. Mick, come on, Mick, open your eyes for me. Okay. Mick, I'm going to apply, apply a bit of pressure now and I want you to open your eyes for me, okay? Hey, hey, hey. No, no. Okay, okay, open those eyes. Mick, do you know where you Jane? are? Jane. Do you know where you are? Jane. Mick, tell me where you are. Oh. Come on, Mick, tell me where you are. No. Okay, can you tell me your name? No. Can you tell me your name, your full name? Go. Okay. Okay, Mick, can you squeeze my fingers? Can you squeeze my fingers? Come on, try and squeeze my fingers, Mick. Come on, try and squeeze my fingers. Come on, try and squeeze them hard. Okay, Mick, I'm going to apply a bit of pressure. I want you to try and push my hand away. Okay? Okay, try and push my hand away. Jane. Come on, that's it. That's Jane. It. Come on, push my hand away. That's it. Mick, open your eyes. Hello, hi. Hello, Mick, keep your eyes open no. for me. Mick, can you keep your eyes open? Can you keep your eyes open for me? Okay, let me just shine these light in your eyes. Let me just open these both together. Open your eyes for me. Okay, let me just look in this one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, all right then, Mick, I'll be back in a second, okay? Deborah, are you okay? Uh, no, he's not too good actually. I think he's deteriorated. Can you just stay with him? Put the yeah. mighty dogs down and I'm going to go and get the doctor to come have a look at him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So we are eye opening to pain, inappropriate words which scores a 3 and localising to painful stimulus which gives a score of 5. So the Glasgow Coma score is 10 out of 15 and his pupils, or the right pupil is the same size, size 3 but sluggish in comparison to the left pupil which was the same, size 3 and reacting briskly to light. Hi. Hey there. Do you remember that chap I spoke to you about? A, a chap called Mick Gray? Right, yeah. A chap that was in the middle of a head injury. Um, I've just seen another set of observations right. on it, and his GCS is now 10, so it's dropped from 14 to 10. Right, so okay. okay. Um, we're going to need to scan him, I think, so we'd better get the anaesthetist down to assess him and uh, arrange for a CT scan right. as soon as possible. Okay, then. All right. Okay, that's weird. Thanks. Thanks. Hi there. Hi. How's he doing? Hi, Mick. Can you open your eyes? Mick. Mick, open your eyes for me. It's worse, isn't it? Isn't yeah. It? Mick. Mick, can you open your eyes for me? Come on, Mick. Can you open your eyes? Okay, I'm going to apply a bit of pressure. Okay. Okay, Mick. Okay. Definitely worse, isn't it? Definitely. Okay. Okay. All right then, Mick. Okay, Mick. Okay. Normal flexion now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's just have a look into your eyes. Okay. 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 Okay
pit. Oh, that pupil, that pupil's worse as well. Okay, let's just have a look into that eye. That pupil's a six now and it's fixed. Okay. That one's okay. That's a three, same with. It's definitely worse. Yeah. I think I need to go and get a doctor. So we've got no iron to pain. Yeah. Um, incomprehensible sounds, groaning. Sounds like he needs intubating to me and abnormal flexion to pain. GCS yeah. of six. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Get a doctor. Yeah. Shall I go get yeah. the doctor? Yeah. Shall I get yeah. the anaesthetist? Yeah, I'll stay with him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. There's no eye opening to pain, which gives a score of one. Incomprehensible sounds, which gives a score of two. And abnormal flexion, which gives a score of three. Total GCS score of six out of 15. And the pupils, where the right pupil is increased in size to a size six and fixed, and the left pupil was the same size, and that was a three, the Acton Biscuitolite. Thank you.